Hey, 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 you're watching me. You're watching Julie. That's me. Yeah, that's right. With the Julie Show. Now I'm just going to start to turn the Julie Show into the Denture Adventure. I have hit my six month mark. Oh, yeah. However, I'm a little bit scared about that because I got movement still, guys. I got movement. And I'm going to tell you what, if I'm stuck with these for even 15 years, I want them to be a little bit more comfortable than they are today. You get used to it, but okay. The goal now for all of you that just got dentures is to be out of pain. You may be a little uncomfortable. You might feel like your mouth is full and they're too big. They're not. They'll fit. And I was putting mine in today and I was like, wow, you know, like, you really got to, like, open up to get in. But when they get in, they fit so, you know, nice and snug up in the, you know, people just look at that funny. And the only real people that understand that are the people that wear dentures. I apologize about this huge glow that you guys are seeing. It must be the angel over me. No. It's a huge crack in my phone, unfortunately, and it is going through the lens and messing it up. Um, well, we have some issues in our neighborhood, so I'm not really able to go drop a couple hundy on the phone right now because, you know, when you wake up and you're on your way to work, like my husband did today, got up, went down in his car, started his van, and couldn't start his van because the damn ignition was on the floor. Had somebody come in and robbed us last night and got into the car and ripped the entire ignition out. And the freaking b blower was running. Everything was running. So he had to unplug the battery. We're going to have a damn car. This is ridiculous. Why do good people get attacked? Okay, we're not good people. We're bad people because we hurt people every day. I don't hurt anybody. I'm, I'm afraid to kill it. A little tiny fly in my head. I'm not afraid to kill it. Fly, but you know, I try to keep all that little bugs just out of my house without killing them. I'm, not, I'm a very, very heartfelt person when it comes to that. Anyways, this is about my dentures. Okay, we're going back. Yeah, I drink pop. You know what? <laughs> I lost my teeth. This is my fourth set. I was like, four. Go back to my other videos. It's not really the fourth set, but if you consider your baby teeth, you got them. After we were born, we were numbing, doing the numb, numbs like I do now. Oh my God, my hair's getting long fast. I don't think I'm going to be able to cut it again. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up, guys. B12, B12, take your B12 vitamins. I'm not even taking a prenatal or a folic acid. That B12 is making my nails are almost this long underneath here. I'm not sure I can probably show you that. How good I nail? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Anyways, uh, mm, I wanted to tell you guys something. This is not to go back or to my story, but over the weekend I did experience a little bit of gum and tissue pain after the teeth were out. As if maybe there was too many times I got sore and I didn't do anything about it. Now sometimes you get used to that. But I did have a few things where I was like, ooh, so I just went ahead and I asked my dentist a while back. And this is something that I would highly suggest anybody do, dentures or not. Because your kids can do this. It fights infection and it gets rid of the bacteria. It's the mouthwash that they give you at the uh, dentist office, the kind they give before you, they see you. And it's like, under my insurance was $3, which is very cheap, probably free for you. And it lasts for a long time, but when I have a sore in my mouth, like a canker sore, I use that mouthwash instead of scope because it heals it. it takes away the pain right away and everything. So you can do salt water, uh, but you have to wait till you heal up to do all that. The salt water, warm salt water, takes away the inflammation. That's probably the fastest way to go, I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I take ibuprofen this morning. And it, oh, it wrecked my stomach, guys. Woof. And I'm not talking anything other than it wrecked me. Okay, the, I don't know. I just keep telling my husband. I mean, what, you know, the the the, the big dogs coming after us because we're not all, you know, we're not all caught up with our freaking stupid money. And then you got the little guy, the crims. They're after us too because it's taking our ignition. You don't win. You don't win unless you choose God because these options don't exist. Listen. Did you just hear what I said? I can't stop getting notices in the mail from them, the big guys. And then I get hit by the little guys too. And when you want to know what I'm talking about is the government is the big guy and the criminals are the little guy. The middle class won't be around in a hundred years. They just won't. I promise you that. The middle class is gone. Okay guys, teeth. So. They haven't really moved. Nothing's moved. I'm sorry, my head is just spinning today from all that. But teeth feel really good today, but I did a nice prayer before I put them in. I said, Jesus, please, like, I have to have enough going on today. Can you just make these a little more comfortable and not hurt? But they don't hurt. I do that a lot to make sure they're in place. I mean, I'm starting to have issues with more cosmetic. Uh, 
when I bike down, again, still we have that little air. As long as I put stuff on the roof of my mouth, it should be pretty good. Eh, I'm probably alright. These look white out here, but they're not that white. They will be whiter. So here we are, six months. And if y'all notice when I smile, there is still a little bit of a hump. I don't think that when I got on here a few months ago and I said it changed my whole face, I was lying at all. I wasn't lying in bit. I didn't look like this last summer. I have video coverage with this same background at this very same table. Oh, nothing like this. I look raggedy. I look like crap, man. My teeth, that, that was an infection. I didn't, I didn't realize how sick that was making me. And now it's slowly, I'm slowly worried about my back because they're trying to tell me that I need like a 200 and, yeah, hold on, $295 copay for a cortisone injection. I'm sorry. My insurance is ridiculous. You've got to be kidding me. I am on disability. What the fuck am I supposed to come up with $300 right before vacation? I mean, if I had that kind of money, I would have already booked my flight with Southwest, but I knew they lost my money. I can't take it anymore. Anyways, I keep reminding myself though I got my teeth. Because for a while there last year, there was a scare that I wasn't healthy enough to get my teeth, but I got them. Anytime I'm feeling that low or that bad, I really do have to say when it comes to these dentures, I not only want to go back and look at how I looked when I had them teeth like that, what did I look at? What, did I, what am I perceiving? And what do you think other people were perceiving when they saw that? I'm embarrassed. I have two years of video cover. Well, I wouldn't say the first year I was doing videos, but I got about a year and a half worth of videos with missing teeth. And I'm over here like, I don't know. The only thing that I want to warn a lot of people about, and I didn't even think about this. I didn't ever think that this was going to happen to me. It's so all through my 30s. I try to lose like 10 pounds, 5 pounds. You know you know how women are really. We're crazy about the, the last couple pounds. And I couldn't do it for the life of me. I just couldn't do it. And then I move over into this house and I get my teeth this year. And I mean, right before the teeth got in, I was starting to have, I mean, that tooth down there that was infected was really starting to bother me. All the teeth around it had broke off, so I knew something wasn't right. And, um, I kind of forgot what I was saying. I was talking about my teeth. <laughs> but no, they fell out at the hospital. I came home, and my teeth were, were sticking so far forward up here. And with these missing, I, yeah, I can't even imitate what I look like. I do have to remind myself, though, that, and you guys need to know that after you get your teeth, you know, load your stuff up with, like, boost and ensure because you're going to lose a few pounds. You're just going to. I mean, it's hard to eat. I mean, I could tell anybody that had weight loss surgery, if they needed teeth, teeth alone, this was, this is like weight loss surgery. I, I don't even want to, I'm not even discussing what I weigh. I'll be talking to the doctor about anorexia soon. I'm going to add that to the damn list, and this is not my fault. It's not my fault, and I'm not really complaining yet. Well, I'm not, I am kind of complaining, because that's what I'm afraid of, is making these kind of hurt me or still uncomfortable. They don't hurt, but still a little uncomfortable, is I think that, I really honestly think that I'm a silly woman. And I think that they're aware of that. And that's why I'm not getting my permits put in until the 13th of September. So, yeah, I think that I mean, I, you, I'm not going to let them put it in if I'm not ready. I mean, it doesn't matter when I get the permits, right? If I'm not ready, these are still moving. I mean, you can't have two pair of dentures that don't fit. Anyways, this was not supposed to be a negative video. Yeah, I can say a quick prayer for my family, though. Like, we suffer here, man. We're getting hit from one end and we're getting hit for the other. We're in the middle. I'm tired of getting raped. And I use the word rape because that's what it feels like. Okay? This sucks. They leave us alone. We don't hurt nobody. You don't try to. Homeless people probably. I feel bad. And I give them money and I give them all the shampoo and conditioning the other day. And they come down here and try to take our vehicles because they need a place to stay. That breaks my heart. But at the same time, man, it, it hurts our bank. It hurts everything. So now what? We don't get groceries this week because somebody, yeah, well now he, I hope the homeless people feel good if it was them. Because guess what? We'll be right under the bridge with them. <sighs> I don't mean it like that, but I did post on Facebook yesterday. It is being very hard to be a Christian in a world so fallen and cold. I was raised by somebody so manipulative and so vindictive that I have tools and techniques that are so stashed that they want to come out. And I keep praying and, and the still they want to come out. I am not that. Right now, God don't want this heart. Please forgive me, Father, I say that. Please forgive me, because I'm telling you right now, 
the first thing I wanted to do when my husband woke me up because I hurt my back the way I woke up because he woke me up really early and uh, he's pounding on the door he's like somebody's stolen I mean it's just like from the very get go and I'm just like okay this was after a very stressful weekend getting some really crappy shit from the you know who in the mail on Saturday I mean come on ruin my weekend this has to be paid it's like dude I'm not even in enough debt with these fee bills to get debt relief so what then they threaten to come after our wages of course that's why we had to have our you know ignition ripped out last night <laughs> maybe this is why I thought that angel told me to get my teeth in 2020 Alright guys, it's six months for me. I'm having a hard day. I didn't need to get into here like in my journal. It's only a couple minutes in. It's worth it. I have to stay still to this day. I would do it again. I'd have to. If you saw my mouth before, i try. I'll try to get, I don't know if I can do that on here. I'm going to try to get you guys a picture. So I think you haven't seen it. I think other people have seen it in social media, but I don't think I've got any pictures on YouTube. I'll check into that and uh, you guys go in peace and have a great day. Bye-bye.